hello guys good evening welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to install a gui from my ec2 instance running amazon linux 2 so this is my aws architecture diagram so in my aws account i have a vpc in this vpc i have a public subnet so my ec2 instance is running in my public subnet so whenever you have in, uh, deploy an amazon ec2 instance or any mi so you will get a cli in the AWS console. So with this CLI, we can install GUI as a interface. So GUI is called as graphical user interface. So we will install GUI from CLI to show you how to install CLI from GUI. So let's get back to the AWS console. So before that, uh, this below comments will apply on Amazon Linux 2, which I am going to install and deploy the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. So let's get back to the AWS console and create your own VPC and deploy your EC2 instance. So for create a VPC, so click on this. I'll go to the 10.0 series. I'll go for a one availability zone. I need one public subnet. I don't need any private subnets. No NAT gate, no, no VPC endpoints. So click on create. So view your own VPC. So this is my VPC. So close this. Go to EC2 in Mumbai region. So go to instances. Launch an EC2 instance. So this is my GUI. So, so I'll go with Amazon Linux Linux 2 AMI and I'll go with the T2.micro and keep it. I have created already. This is Tarun.test, keep it. So then edit your network settings, choose your public subnet and enable your public IP. So create a security group to allow SSH access. And next, GP3 for cost optimization and launch EC2 instance. So view your instances. So it is still in pending state. Let me check the screenshot of the server, whether it is booting up or not. So it is still in pending state, yeah. So it is started booting up. So copy the public IP and log into the machine using putty. So this is my QPA. I have logged back in EC2 user. So these are the commands uh, which you need to run to install GUI on uh, running Amazon Linux 2. So to confirm the version that you are running, run the following command. You can use this command or you can use this command. So it will check that OS flavor or OS version whether you have installed Amazon Linux 2 or not. So it will say Amazon Linux 2. So you can use this command also to showcase that you are using this Amazon Linux 2. So the second step is install made packages. So this is the package name. So it will install made packages. Hit enter. It will download the packages. It will install all the packages. Confirm yes. It will install 179 packages. The next step will be define mate as your desktop, default desktop for all users. So this is a command where you need to go with the default desktop for all users. So it is going as one seventy nine packages need to be installed. If you see here, mate desktop library packages is going to install. And these are the dependency packages which is going to install. So if you see here genome is there. So it is done. So the next step is 
Define mate as your desktop default for all users. Copy the command. Sorry for that. It is wrongly pasted. So this is the command you have given for default desktop for all users. And install your Tiger VNC viewer server. So with this Tiger VNC server, you are able to view the GUI. So I'm installing Tiger VNC viewer. It is asking license and minimal install utils package and dissolve and the next step is you need to spare you give a specific password so with this specific password you need to ins uh, go in inside a tiger vnc server you need to hit the password so that you are able to log into this tiger vnc using uh, using tiger vnc you need to log into the gui so copy the vnc password hit enter you need to give the credentials of the password set the password I'll go with your view only password is used not used so I don't want to view my password so the next step would be restrict VNC network access to the local host so that VNC can be accessed by using a secure SSS channel so it is you need to create a tiger VNC directory so I'm creating mkdr and the slash etc tiger directory as tiger VNC the next step would be Create a mandatory configuration file containing the local host option. So this is a mandatory option you need to give to the local host so that it will contain the local host will be redirected to a config mandatory directory. And start the VNC server on display number one and cause it to always start at boot type and create a new system to unit. So this is the command you need to give enter. So it will start at the boot time whenever you the server is booted. And user set command to replace all occurrences of user in the new unit with EC2 user. With the EC2 user, you can replace all the occurrences of this GUI. So, this step has been done. So, reload the system D manager configuration. So, I am reloading my system manager configuration. Sorry, I have a tested. Okay, this has been done. My system D reloaded. And if you see here the step 11, you can enable and start the service with a single command. But previously, some users are using start in one command and enable in one command. So I'm using in the single command start and enable. So with this command, uh, it, the service will be enabled and it will be start. So it is saying that it's started and it has been running. Connect the GUI using VNC. Install the Tiger VNC in your platform OS from this user link it's tigervnc.org it's https link when connecting to your instance using ssh add the hyphen l parameter to activate port forwarding replace spam file with your private key and instance ip with your public ip so i'll go with uh, my port forwarding so if you see here i'll go with a uh, new session copy your ip address and authentication and that you get your file so it is been done so if you see here when connecting to your instance using ssh add the hyphen l parameter to activate port forwarding if you use the windows or mac you need to use this so i will go with the windows so if you use putty you need to go and go to tunnels and you need to add a finite zero one port here and the destination will be localhost colon finite zero one you need to hit enter and the port forwarding will be activated so i am not going with the putty so i use cmd so let me check where it is my pen file so cd desktop ls sorry dir so go to cd rnd folder so here i am having a my pen file tarun test pen file so copy this uh, copy this line so it will enable your port forwarding and it will use this port to connect your uh, tiger vnc to gui so i will give it as my public ip copy this public ip so the pen file will be test.temp so this is the command you need to give tarun 
hive and test them. No. So this is the command you need to hit enter and with the user you are going to log in. Which user you need to specify and it will ask the password to log in. Is it user at the red uh, public IP? So it will open the port as finance zero one local first. So you have mentioned here. So if you see here, the service will be activated with new unit with the EC2 user. So all the occurrences will be going in the EC2 user. If you enter here, let me check 13.2.33.161.158. So it is asking for a fingerprint. So if you see here, I have connected from my Windows uh, desktop to my own desktop to my EC2 user using EC2 user. I have connected to the public IP to Amazon Linux to AMI which is configured in the AWS. So if you see here, the Finance 01 port is enabled. So go to Tiger VNC. If you hit enter with the localhost column 1 to last the password, you need to uh, give the password where you have given the password in the step 5 configure VNC specific password. I have given the specific password as my own password. So this is where you get the GUI from CLI. So if you access here, you see here file system desktop, you see user, all the configuration files will be there in the GUI. So this is where you are uh, going to install from install GUI from Amazon CLI. So th that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you have any queries. Please post in the comment box. Thank you.